All right, so here's a quick how-to. Uh, I went over this uh, in class yesterday, but maybe you weren't here, maybe you forgot since then. Uh, this is going to help you with the page that you're going to get today in class. So what do we want to do? It says identify the pattern in the table. That's a lot of what we talked about uh, over the past couple days. It's just noticing a pattern, noticing a pattern, noticing a pattern, okay? I want you to try this on your own. So don't get some help from other people. Try this on your own and see how you do, all right? It can be tough, all right? But if you look, what do you notice that's happening? Okay, 28 to 37 plus 9, 37 to 46 plus 9, 46 plus 9. Gee, what's 46 plus 9? Well, 46 plus 10 is 56, plus 9 is going to be one less than that, so 55. 55 plus 10 is going to be 65, plus one less than that is 64. See how I'm adding by 9s? I'm thinking of by 10s. So 65, uh, or, or uh, excuse me, 74 minus 1, 73, all right? And over here, what do we do? We plus 9, all right? So make sure you understand that value. The next one, what do you notice is going on? So that I can get the fourth, fifth, and sixth terms. Am I going to subtract? You could. That's a lot of subtraction, right? Well, if I subtract 128 from 64, which that's 4, that's 64. Am I going to do the same thing here and the same thing here? Well, 64 uh, minus 64 isn't 0, okay? You're going to divide by 2, right? So everything is divided by 2. So think about what half of 32 is, 16. Half of 16 of 8, half of 8 is 4, okay? Now, some of you need help with this, okay? So again, this is what we need to do. I, and I cannot stress to you, show your work. Show me your evidence as to what's going on, and it's quite simple. All I'm gonna do is rewrite the problem, but I'm gonna substitute the x value into the ordered pair, or of the ordered pair into the equation. So y is equal to negative four times two plus nine. And I didn't write the two right away because I wanted to put that in a different color. All right? So here, here's my work. Watch, it's a couple of simple steps. What's a negative four times a positive 2. It gives me a negative 8 plus 9. What is negative 8 plus 9? That's positive 1. So that's what goes in there. That's what you should have got. Same thing here. y is equal to, same equation, negative 4, different input value, plus 9. And I'll do that. So this is going to be plus uh, times 3. So what's negative 4 times 3? It gives me negative 12 plus 9. What is negative 12 plus 9? Well, there's more negatives than positives, so it better be a negative 9. 10, 11, 12, that's 3, so it's negative 3. If my input is negative 3, my output is negative 3. Where did I get that right? Ah, no, I goofed, I goofed. Where did I goof? I goofed because I put in 3, even though my input is negative 3, so that changes everything. How does that change everything? Well, watch what it does. It makes this negative 12 a positive 12, and it makes the negative 3 a positive 21. Now, watch this last one over here. This is easy. You're going to get a couple of these on the page you're going to do. Minus 4 times 0 plus 9. So I'm going to input 0. Draw right-handed there. And I'm going to go ahead and solve this. What's negative 4 times 0? Equals 9. There you go. Done. Right there. Right? So that's how I did that. So now when you get to the next page, make sure you fill in what value it is you're doing. Right? If you do the same thing here and here. All right, so 3 to 6, I could times 2. Am I going to take 6 times 2 and get 12, and 12 times 2 and get 24? So times 2. I think you know. Over here, what am I doing? 76 to 60 to 44 to 28. What am I doing there? And do the same thing for 14. Stop and think about it. You only got three of them. Shouldn't take you very long. And then the same thing down here is the example of what I just did. If you need to go back and review it, go back and review it. But you have all these. You should be able to get those done. Make sure you get your assignment turned in.